Hi there Titans, my name is Paige and today I'm going to show you how you can create email templates in Salesforce that will have a custom URL parameter for your users to be able to access a form or a web project and have their data pre-filled. So let me show you the example. Here I have a contact Angela Fisher and I can drop in this template like so that I've created. And then when I send it to Angela, it's going to go to her email, which right now it's my email. And so now we have this message here. She can click on this URL and it has her information filled. So this use case would be if you, you know, want to send out forms for your contacts or other records in Salesforce to be able to see their information, maybe update it, um, or even just already have their contact ID filled so that whenever they complete the form, it gets saved to their um, contact ID. They don't need to like log in or enter their uh, first name, last name, etc. It's going to already update because we have their contact ID identified in the URL. So let me show you how we do this. And I'm going to show you for both forms and Titan Web, and you'll be able to use that for Titan surveys and other um, other projects as well. So let's get started. I will start, I'm just going to delete this one so that I can do this over with you. So in the setup, what I did, I searched for templates on the side and I went to classic email templates. I'm going to create a new template. I chose custom, but you're welcome to use any of the email template types. I'm going to call it contact form email. Yeah, that works. Make sure you check available for use so that you can see that on the contact record page. You can enter a description if you like or subject if you like. Here is where you enter the subject in HTML body. So I'm going to say, please complete this form. And then the body, I'll say hi. And this is where I want to put in their first name or their full name. So this is where this tool, Available Merge Fields, this tool can be really helpful. You can find the record uh, type, the object that you will be using. For me, it's already contact, so that's good. And then I can select the field that I want to have in this template. And then I'll just copy this here and I can paste it like that and say, please review and update your contact info here. Awesome. So now I'm going to paste in the URL for my form. So how I did this, make sure you don't do the preview version, but instead do um, publish. First, let me just remove the debug mode so that we can't see the hidden fields. I'm going to click save and then publish. I'm going to copy this URL right here and paste it. And then what you need to type in next is question mark FLD and go and find what field number is the hidden field that contains the record ID. For me, this is field five. So I clicked on the the element, and then you can see the field number right here. So if yours is field 11, then this is where you'll type field 11. For me, I'm going to type field 5. So field 5 equals, and this is where we'll drop in their contact ID. Very easy. So copy that and paste it here. Make sure there's no spaces or anything, because this is going to concatenate the URL that you gave it plus that text FLG5 or whatever field the, your um, record ID is, and then the, the uh, records contact ID. So that is very important. Awesome, I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna click copy text from HTML version, and then save. Lovely. So, there is my preview and I can go to my Angela Fisher. I'll refresh this. 
and then we can go to email, attach that template. Lovely, and then we can send it. So that is how it's done for Titan Web. You can see your information. Now let's do the same thing, but in Titan, or that was Titan Forms, now let's do Titan Web because it is a little bit different than Titan Forms. A very small difference, but one worth noting. So here is my example for our web project and what it's going to do. I have a account ID as a variable. Whoops. Let's go see my custom variables. Account ID. Awesome. Okay, so in my email, let's make a new one. And this one's going to be on the account instead of contacts. Account on email. Make sure you click available for use. Please update info. Okay, so for whenever we're using the web version, let's go ahead and click publish and we can copy this. Copy. I'm going to paste it. And instead of using, you'll still do the, the question mark, but instead of using FLD, we're actually just going to type in account ID or whatever your parameter name is. Um, and it needs to be a project parameter, not a page parameter. So whatever your project parameter is, you'll type it in account ID equals, and then um, this is where I'll choose account fields, account ID, copy, and paste. Okay. Save. Lovely. And now let's go and preview this in our account record. So I can go to my templates and find my account form email. Insert. Lovely. And I just want to make sure that it goes to my email since like we want to review it. But this is where you would, you know, you can put in the primary contact or whoever you're sending this email to. Lovely. And then I'm going to send it. And let's review this. And there we have it. It is filled and they could update it or, you know, if you don't want to have the git populate, then whenever they save it, it would automatically be filled to their account ID, which is um, noted here. So that is how it's done and I hope this video helped.